Disaster declarations, closed roads, canceled programs in many places, but not for severe weather. It was because of the eclipse. Especially in the eclipse's path of totality, it was a big deal. Tens of thousands of people packed the streets along several states, including Texas, Arkansas, and Maine. New York's Wayne County saw a huge influx of travelers and nearly every hotel was full. And around a million people descended on Niagara Falls, Canada, which already sees thousands of visitors a day. Some eclipse viewers started camping out at the falls for the best spot before the sun was even up. Okay, so it was crowded, but why did that prompt a state of emergency? Well, a huge increase in a city's population, even if temporary, can put a strain on first responders and public safety communications, making it harder to respond to 911 calls if there's a crisis, not to mention the general logistics of traffic, parking, and large gatherings. Officials in several states reported rest stops at capacity, traffic on the highways, and even crashes on the day of the eclipse. Luckily, a lot of places made emergency declarations days in advance to give first responders and residents more time to plan, gather resources, and prepare. Making that call essentially allows city officials to do things like change traffic patterns, close roads, and use preparedness plans if necessary. As for the big day itself, in many spots along the path of totality, the weather was clear and the eclipse was fully visible. In others, clouds or severe weather made the sun hard to see at all. Burn at Texas's Eclipse Festival had to end a day early due to severe weather warnings, and attendees were warned to be packed and prepared to leave as soon as the total part of the eclipse ended. The actual moment of full obscurity only lasted a few minutes in each area, but the good thing is that no matter how many people gathered to see it, all everyone had to do was look up.